Hi, DJ. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome back to my existing viewers and subscribers. Um, I It's been a while since I've come on. Um, just had a lot going on, but I got some projects ready to film. Um, I talked about, okay, let's talk about the project. I've got a lot, lot going on right here. Just a lot going on, but let's talk about this. I have cut out New Look 6703, and I cut out, what is that version, A. Um, then I ran into a little dilemma. So I have some pieces that I need to cut along the grain line, and these are the pieces that I have left, and I could not do that. So I had bought this fabric in San Antonio um, a while back, like in 2018, maybe 2019. And so I was like, oh no, I don't have time to go to San Antonio. Like that's far, you know, it's a two hour drive or a little more than that for me because I live on the north side of Austin. And so I'm like, let me go to Joanne's and maybe I can find something very close to it. And I did. Now, here it is. This is the one I bought at Joanne's. And this is the one that I bought in San Antonio. Now look at that. They're pretty close. Like the, the this whole lighting situation is not making it look right. The only difference is the inside. So this is darker. This is lighter. But that's okay because all I needed this for was like the band, the waistband, and pockets. Um, not wait, do I need yeah, back pockets. I have the front pockets cut out back pockets is what i needed it for the whole body of the skirt is cut out of this fabric that i had so this i i mean i i didn't need this much i probably could have done away with half a yard but i just got a yard just in case so i just need it for the like i said the the band and the back pockets and that's it so i thought you know what i'm just yeah it, it, you're not going to be able to tell at all um now if it was like one part of the skirt and then the other part, then I probably would have been like, I don't know, but it is it is exact. It's just the inside that isn't, um, but that's okay. So I've got that project. I just need to finish cutting them, the band out in the back pockets, which I plan to do possibly tonight. And then um, as I was waiting to do that, I had this, this top that I made um, and it's a Gertie pattern. It's inside out, so let me put it. I had to unpick it, so it's it's gonna look a little ratchet. But anyways, um, I had this top that I made, um, and it's a security pattern, and um, it was a little big up on the top, about an inch. So I went ahead and I unpicked it, and I'm gonna go ahead and stitch that up, so that way it's not, um, so you can see like the neck band. I don't know if you can tell, but I, there you go. You can kind of see the holes. Um, gonna gonna lower that down well really from the shoulder seams is where i'm gonna do it but i needed to remove that piece because of how i finished it uh it would have looked funky so yeah now i need to uh do the same for the arms as you could see the inside how i did that i folded it over so i'm gonna have to unpick not all of it just the top piece and then redo it um, but I really love this top and I really love this fabric. I had got it at Joann's um, and I love it. It's really cool and breezy. Um, and so I have some other fabric that I'm going to make another top like this because I really like it. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to adjust the pattern so that it has an inch from the, from the top. That way it's not like, because it kind of like bulges up even though the size is right and it fits perfect. It's just a little loose up on the top and I just kind of want to fix that. So that's going to be the next thing I, I fix before I finish. Um, or actually, I think I'm going to finish cutting because I don't really need it to be too light. The light is right above here. So I'm going to finish cutting so that way when I'm sewing, I'm done with that. I can move on to that. Um, and then the next project, I'm going to see if I have enough fabric for. I, was, I don't even know whose channel I was watching. Uh, she just kind of popped up on my feed. And I'm like, ooh, I like that. Let me see what that is. And now, um, I don't even know how to pronounce this, but they're sailor pants and shorts. I totally love it. I saw her put together, it looks pretty simple. Um, and it's from Ann, Anna, Anna Allen, I think. I don't know, here you go. 
here it is this is the one i really love the loose fitting and i love the shorts now the one they have two versions they have the zipper fly and then the button fly totally doing the button fly um so i cannot wait and the instructions i'm looking at them look very clear like very clear i mean i there's pictures and everything and i'm like okay i love it the only thing i need to do which is something that i plan to do tonight as well after i'm done tracing out um yeah after i'm done cutting out those couple pieces that i need for my skirt um i'm gonna get on to this and that is putting the pattern pieces together because it's a pdf um so i'll be doing that putting it together and then tracing out my size i've already went ahead and measured myself to see exactly what size i am out of the finished garment piece and i marked it so i know okay this is what i'm tracing um because i don't want to put it together and then just only do cut to my size i don't like to do that because i make clothes for my daughter as well and then my daughter-in-law likes for me to make her some things too and she's a bigger size so that way there's options that way I don't have to keep printing it. It's already printed and I just put it in a big, clear, um, hanging envelope sort of thing in the closet. Uh, so all of my printed PDF patterns, after I'm done with them, I kind of fold them up and put them in there. But I don't fold them up into pieces. They're kind of like, to, it's a big thing. It's like, an, it's a big situation. So anyways, these are the next things on my list. I'm going to see, I think somebody make them with linen. I don't know if I would like them to be with linen. I think I have some twill fabric because it says you can use like light denim, twill, um, denim. I forget what else it said. Um, 10 ounce cotton canvas, twill fabric with no stretch. Um, some people have made it with the stretch, cotton, denim, and yeah, like, yeah. So there's, there's just different options, but I'm going to see what I have. Um, I might have enough to make the shorts, so I'm gonna see that as well. But definitely wanna make the pants. I'm thinking I might head on over to Joanne's this weekend, buy some more denim uh, so that I can make these pants. Cause I don't, to be honest with you, I do not like the straight leg or the, not the straight leg, the, the jeans they have now. Oh my gosh, I just went blank. You know, the ones that hug your tight, jeans like i just don't i don't feel comfortable like my legs feel suffocated and i don't like it especially that i've gained weight and i cannot lose it some for some reason um i think these will be fine because they look they're loose fitting so i want to go ahead and try that but i might have some fabric to make a muslin so i want to try i want to see and then if i don't i'm just head on over to joann's and buy some the next thing that I've done was, do you remember the, um, let me get the pattern. So you remember the top, okay, the top. I'll show you. Here's the top. I did the ruching, or is that shearing in the bottom? I don't know why I say ruching. Is that the same? I don't know. I did the shearing in the bottom and look how cute that looks. So now I just, this is my daughter's. I just now need to finish mine. I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, and then I added some cute little buttons at the top. If you can see, these are just decorative. I couldn't find anything that, that I, I was trying to find some Frida because this is a Frida um, fabric. I was trying to find some cute Frida, but I did not find any. So here's that top nice and done. Um, did this right here. Uh, and you know what? And I have to say, I am the baby lock, Destiny, um, and that's where I was doing that at. And in the in the ma in the book in the manual, it tells you like what stitch length you should do, and whatever. Now I had a hard time getting it to even pucker up. I was like, why is it not doing it? Like I literally had to stitch one, like stitch the front, and then stop, leave a piece, and then go to the back, do and then start you know a, a new stitching row. Um, and then pull them and tie them out so that it made that. Now it's very stretchy, so it's not like interfering with the, with the stretch at all. But yeah, I just didn't like that I had to do that. Now I did see a, a video, somebody who had also has a Destiny, I don't know which, or not a Destiny, but a Baby Law, had to take the little, where the casing where you put the bobbin, um, 
and tighten that. And she said that do by doing that, it went ahead and it started to do the pucker. So I may have to do that because the stitching, the, the length that it says to do here, um, and I'm gonna show you, there's my book, I had it open. Um, to show you it, the, the what it tells you to do, it's not doing, it's called smocking. Um, you know, I did a four inch uh, length and a two for the tension and it did not, it didn't even do anything. I had to go on the inside and kind of gather it and then, you know, fix that. But nevertheless, I got it done. More work than I needed to put in, but I got it done and I totally love it and we'll do it again. But I'm gonna try to do what that other girl did with her baby lock and see if it's gonna work for with mine. So that's that. And then um, the other project that I, di I did, and it was like quick, it was quick, very easy, I love it. I saw this fabric at Joann's and it already had the little smocking on top or sharing, I don't know what it's called. And I thought, oh, I love that fabric. Blue is my favorite color. And I made a dress. I made a long dress. So this is a maxi. And I added the straps. So it just has this at the top. It didn't have straps, obviously. Um, because I'm short, all that fabric that I had, I was able to use the bottom piece and just put it to the top as um, straps. So now I have a nice, cute summer dress. Um, and this is like a... I think it was a ray it's a rayon or something it's very soft it's very nice and you know and again all i did was measure myself i got two yards because i know my daughter anytime i make something and her she loves blue as well i make something she wants the same thing so i've got two yards i actually didn't even use a yard um so i had like probably i had a good amount i had about this much left from a yard to do my dress so all I did was measure myself around and then I pinned it and then went ahead and, and you know, cut that piece off and did, um, I did a half an inch seam allowance and then I surged it so that I put the seam allowance to the back rather than the side. Um, just because I don't know why I just did it that way. Uh, you can't see this, you know, the stitching in the back. I mean, I could have done it on the side, but I figured that that would be easy for me to defer to figure out what the back side was was just to go ahead and do it to the back and then i just added the straps um very easy very simple i just searched so i made the straps long just in case i put the dress on and then i had my husband pin with safety pins the straps in the back to cover my bra and then i did i pinned them in the front took it off and then kind of like you know kept it there because it had a safety pen and then i went ahead and i did a basting stitch on all of them then i cut it to the length you know because it i had long straps i cut it and then surged it you know so the inside of the the um straps they're surged but they're stitched on you know i just followed the stitching line here um and so they're on so that so these are on um, I did interface them just to give them a little structure so they're not falling off. I did think about making them and just tying them, but then I was like, well, with my luck, it'll probably untie and then I won't even notice and I'll probably have a girl hanging out or something, you know? So I'm like, no, let's not go that route. Let's just put the straps on so it fits perfect and comfortably. But yeah, here is the dress and hopefully you can see how this this is that fabric from Joann's. This was already done and I loved it. And very easy to put together and then I hemmed it. So that's all I have been working on. I mean, I've done some Cricut stuff, but we're gonna do another video on that. Um, but that's, I, you know what? I'm honestly, I'm excited to do this. Like excited. I've done pants before. Well, not really pants, shorts. They're not hard to do at all. Now, I've never done a button fly, like a full button fly. So that's gonna be interesting. So I do need to go to Joann's to get, you know, the buttons and then get some fabric. So again, I'm gonna see what I have here. I might have something to just kind of do a muslin um, just so that I can get the fit. I probably like won't fit it like completely like 
finish it, I just want to make sure that the fit is going to be right before I actually do it on the right on the denim fabric or the, whatever fabric I choose to buy. But I really feel I want a, a pair of denim. Now I think again, here's some of the black denim, and I think this uh, might be enough to do the shorts. I don't know. This is a different denim. It's not the same like the one I have. Uh, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see because it's like quite a bit of, and if I can get the shorts to fit, um, then I'll do that. Oh, and then another pattern I bought, I don't know if I shared this, but another pattern I bought was, um, a, a, I don't know if it's Fira dress and top or Fira, I don't know, something like that, I'll show you right now. I saw someone make it, um, they made the top, and I said, oh, I love that top because I have a lot of denim, not denim, linen, that I can actually use that's not enough to do like shorts or pants or anything, but enough to do a top. And so I thought I would do this because I thought different, you know, how I didn't want to have like the same, you know, summer top. I want to have different tops. Um, and then I looking at the dress, I sort of like it, you know, it's, I'm sorry about the lighting guys. I, I don't know. Every time I want to film, it's never bright enough in here. And if I put this light, it's like too, too, too bright. So situations <laughs> we'll get out we'll get through this right um so i'm thinking like with a nice belt um i can probably so my mom had like a bunch of like back in the day in the 80s we both had like really big belts like that's how you know it was back in the day you wore those big belts with like the the um button up uh what are they called shirt dresses the button of shirt dresses and you would wear that big belt and it's like huge um so my mom and i had some but i had i don't know what happened to all of mine but my mom still had hers so when um she passed away i saw that they were still and she still had them and i'm like oh my god like i could totally use these and they're they're really nice uh so i'm thinking like making one of these dresses and putting one of those belts on to it, it'll just like not make it look so um, casual and so simple. It'll kind of like just lift it up a little bit. And that's this one here. So I'm loving that shirt. Hopefully you can see that. And then look at the dress. Like that looks, you know, if I want it to just be casual and just wear that out, like, yes, yes. Right. And then if you just put a belt, it has like little pockets on there, but if you put a belt on there, like, I really think that you could dress this up or make it, you know, nice. And I thought, you know what? I, again, I have a lot of linen that I can make the top with. And then I have some um, that I probably can make that dress. Like, I think you can use different types. I mean, of course you can use different fabrics. Uh, it just says you want to use light to medium weight woven fabrics. So, you know, cotton lawn, shirting, poplin, broadcloth, and linen. And I have, I have poplin, I have shirting, I have linen so yeah gonna definitely try that let me show you this other fabric so this is the top that i had made right and i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna do that shirring in the bottom as well because it's just a loose top and then i'm gonna add some buttons or maybe i won't um but this is a shirting uh, fabric i'm thinking i can make one of these tops with this fabric because I have, a, I still have a lot of this fabric. Um, not a dress. I don't think this would be looking good as a dress. I think a top like that, it might look good. Um, but I had the fabric to play around with and see. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to make that. This is another project that I have to do. I'm going to make this top. And I love, like, look at the details of that. The pleats and stuff. I love it. Um, so definitely want to do that. Uh, that's that's going to be on the agenda. And I also want to go back and make the, let me see if I find it. Give me a second. So remember I made that one 
in the blue fabric, the blue and white linen fabric. Well, I wanna go ahead and make it in that other fabric, the um, Zimmerman fabric that I showed you. Let me go ahead and bring it out. Um, from Mood, I wanna go ahead and make that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the dress on and then see how it fits. And I think, like, I think the top piece was fine. It was just a lot in the bottom. So I think if I do an inch on each side, you know, like sh just taking in. So I'm gonna test it out on the one I've already made. So I'm gonna like just clip it in just to see what that looks like. And if I like the way it looks, then I'm gonna go ahead and cut into this fabric. This fabric was quite expensive, so I don't wanna do that. But I also don't want, I mean, I love the dress. You know, let me get it so you can see it. So here's that dress. So I love the dress. Love it, love it, love it. Like, I mean, I, I cannot wait to wear it. Um, but see, like at the top piece, this piece here is fine. It's just the bottom. It's just a lot of fabric in the bottom. So I feel that if I take even maybe even more than an inch out, that, you know, it's still going to have the flowy effect. It's just not, I'm not going to drown in the fabric, you know. Um, or in the dress, I should say. So what I wanna do is I'm gonna put this on and then clip it in, you know, just to see what it looks like from the inside. You know, I'll just put clips just to see, you know, to hold it in um, and see how flowy it is or see if that's how I like it. I don't want, I, I like the, I wanna make a long one. I don't wanna make a short one. Um, or maybe I should. Because I did have to, maybe if I do, well, I did see. Maybe if I did, well, I don't really like like short, short dresses. Um, I'm like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know yet, but I'm loving, I love the dress and I really want to make the other one. Uh, we are planning on, yeah, so I'm going to see. This is another project that I'm just going to put on and see I probably after this video and see where it fits me and then go ahead and make that up as well. I don't feel like this was not long to make at all. And I don't think this is going to take long to make neither. So I think that I'm going to make these like after I sew up the top and do the, the, the shearing or whatever it's called on my other top, get that done. Um, then I think... You know, I'm going to go ahead, like I said, put this together. That shouldn't take long either. Um, I plan on doing that tonight. And then hopefully tomorrow, I can go ahead and trace my size on this one and then get this one going. Um, well, I want to finish my skirt too. So, but I like what I like to do, guys, is I like to cut out my projects, like maybe have two or three already cut out. Um, because I feel like it takes a lot of time to, to go ahead and trace out the pattern and, you know, cut your fabric out. So I feel like if I did two or three at one time, then there I'm finishing with one project. And if I feel like I can keep going, I'll go on to the next project. That's kind of how I operate. <laughs> Even when I make bags, I like to cut out several and then that way they're there and I could just go, 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 go. Um, since I already know what I want to do, since this fab, this one's already traced out and I already know my size, what I want to do is just like I said, clip in that one, then make the adjustments on the traced out pattern and then um, go ahead and, and start that project. Cause that, you know, cutting that out is, is simple. Making that dress did not take long. The only difference I'm going to make is I'm not going to make the facing like this. I'm going to go ahead and do double, you know, so that way, um, or put like a cotton fabric in the inside, which I have for that one, um, the same color. So that way the inside, at least the top piece will be covered. Uh, the bottom you're drawing in fabric, you're not even going to see in it at all. And I don't want to have double fabric on the bottom, but the top, like, I don't really like the facing and how you could see it through there like that and how it pops out. I don't want that situation happening. I know we could tack it down but I just feel like it'll look nicer, give it a nicer finish doing that. But this was really, I made this very quick, it was fast. Um, now that the pattern pieces is already, you know, traced out, I just done to make my adjustment. Um, like I said, I'm gonna do this, the skirt. This is the order I'm gonna do this, guys. I know I'm crazy. 
the skirt, I'm gonna finish cutting out the, the couple pieces that I need, that way that's ready. Put that aside, fix my top, do the sharing on the other one, put the dress on, clip it in, make the adjustments on my traced out pattern, that way that's ready. Um, put pattern pieces together, then trace out this one and this one. So when, after this is already put together, trace it out and then do the same for this one. I haven't figured out which, measure, I mean, I, I mean, it's loose fitting. I don't think it's gonna be that complicated to figure out what size I need. Um, but anyways, that is the plan. That's my plan. So we'll see if, if I can get that happening here. Um, if I don't have any distractions. Uh, you know, last week it was Mother's Day. I think after Mother's Day is when I was, after my kid, my daughter left, I started her, her top. Um, Saturday, I ended up going to um, Conroe. I let my son use my um, mom's car um, because, you know, I had the two cars. So, because uh, he was working on his, so he needed a car to get to work. So we drove out there, dropped off my car, or my mom's car, which is my car now. And then, um, so that was Saturday and that went to six, you know, we wouldn't get home to the evening till like six something in the evening. And then I just cleaned up the house. And then Saturday was, you know, Mother's, or Sunday was Mother's Day. My daughter came over and um, we hung out. And then after she left, that's when I, I finished her top, but I was, I was playing with it. So, um, you know, using scrap fabric, trying to get the adjustment right, following what the, the, the reference guide said, nothing, it didn't work. But I saw that video and now I'm gonna give that a try and see if that'll work for my top. So of course I'm gonna play around with that. that I think that's what takes up a lot of time because you're doing a lot of testing on the, those pieces. Um, hopefully it'll work because guys, doing it the way that I did, it took a little extra work. So there's, and then I made the dress. I made the dress on Sunday as well because I was like, yes, I love that fabric. I want it. I bought this like two weeks ago love it i was supposed to do an open house but i didn't hear from the broker or the listing agent until today so now i don't tomorrow I'm, I'm busy so i can't do the open tomorrow but i can so <laughs> yes um i might do an open on sunday so we'll see if i do the open house on sunday or if i do it next weekend but the following weekend but i think that's labor day weekend if i'm not mistaken um, people look at houses on Labor Day, you know, that weekend as well. But I don't know if we were planning to go to Chicago to see my in-laws. So I'm not sure about next weekend. We're just gonna worry about this weekend. And this weekend, I know Saturday I'm busy. I don't know if I have to go to Conroe to pick up my other car. Um, I may just have my son to bring it and then I'll just drive him back. Um, but yeah, so anyways, too much information, I guess, but you know, just trying to give you an idea of how busy I've been and you know, working and then cleaning the house and trying to take care of things and doctor's appointments and all of that stuff. It just kind of takes from your day. Um, and I'll, I'm just like, all I want to do is sew, all I want to do is play with this, all I want to do is, and then I don't get to. So, I don't ever really plan because my plan always changes. But, anyways, this is my, my mental plan of what I want to do. Um, so I'm gonna, that's why I left this hanging here in the sewing room um, and this, because I was like, I'm not done with them yet. Still wanna tweak it. And then they'll move into my closet. That one is done, the blue one's done. I'm gonna go ahead and move her into the closet because she doesn't need any adjustments, the dark blue one. Um, unpicked my top, which took me a while. So did that, cause I didn't, you know, it's knit. I didn't want it to like get ruined. But those are the projects I have in mind. Got my denim to finish my skirt. I was so happy that I was like, I thought I had enough. And then those little things, right? Oh, you got to cut along the, the um, salvage. And I'm like, oh, great. And then I was thinking, what if I just don't cut along the salvage? But I didn't have enough to do the pockets because the back pockets were kind of like, you know, takes up a lot of fabric. So I was like, okay, I need to do something else. I need to figure something else out. So, went to Joanne's and I'm glad I found it. So, that is my plan of action. Hopefully, we can get these done. My daughter's top's done. She can take it home 
and no it's just a matter of me and i just honestly i haven't been really wanting to make any bags um i don't need any bags to you know i was thinking of making it let me back that i was thinking of doing a carry-on um i have the pieces there and then i i did make that one um this bag i forget what it's called now but if you remember this one here um i was gonna make a couple to put to, to put on the side and then also to take on craft fair, but I don't have one until July. So I have time to do these. And so I really want to make some clothes because honestly, since I put weight on I, and it doesn't come off, I'm, you know, eating the Mediterranean diet. I exercise every day. I yell and try meal every day. And I don't, I, I don't know. I just don't lose any weight. And I don't even know how I gained the weight probably age but um fun times right so I, I just so my like clothes I had from before you know my store bought clothes don't fit at all so I'm like well I'm just gonna make my clothes I have all these fabrics I love all of these things that I, I have all of the patterns and that's why I'm like you know what I'm just if the weight decides to leave me you know I've given it an eviction notice but it's still here maybe it'll leave right and then I can fit clothes so that's why i kind of like if you're wondering why i'm doing a lot of like loose fitting that is why because number one it's hot and sticky in texas number two it doesn't matter what if i lose the weight my dress is still gonna fit me if i gain the weight my dress is still gonna fit me because it's loose so that is why i'm like but and plus i love the style i love how i fit how i felt in this dress when i put it on i just felt like oh my gosh this is beautiful like i just felt i don't know it's royal you know i felt royal and so and, and the fabric is just beautiful right um and i cannot wait to use the zimmerman because i feel like this is a zimmerman type dress and that fabric would do it justice i was trying to see what other pattern to use for that zimmerman fabric and i'm like I don't think there's anything that would make it look as nice as this would. Um, I do also want to make, let me see where it's at. This very easy Vogue 9182, I still wanna make that and I thought about making it in that fabric, but I don't think it'll work. I mean, I mean, it'll work, but I don't think it'll give it justice. I don't think that it would, you know, make it look Zimmer, Zimmerman, Zimmerner. Oh my God. It wouldn't make it look like it was a Zimmerman dress. I feel like this is a Zimmerman dress, you know, with the, the ruffle or I don't have ruffles, but the tears and the gathers, I feel like this is oh, wrong side. I feel like this is Zimmerman. I don't know why, but that it speaks Zimmerman to me. Um, I wonder if, but I don't want to do that. I was thinking, what if I took these sleeves and put them on this dress? But I don't wanna do that because I do want a dress like this, like just summery, because like I said, it's hot and sticky in Texas and we need, I need dresses. Plus I'm planning, um, my birthday's in June and I really wanna go to New Jersey, New York and Massachusetts all in that one time and possibly New Hampshire, um, all in that, maybe four day weekends because i know that you can like travel to those locations um because there's specific, uh, specific things i want to see in new york and new jersey i just want to go for some reason in my heart i feel like i belong in new jersey even though i've never been there go figure i've never been there <laughs> but i just feel like i belong in new jersey for some reason so weird i can't even explain it um Massachusetts because my daughter wants me to move there with her but I've never been so I want to check it out New Hampshire I just feel like it looks nice like I want to go check I just want to go travel you know I want to go check out these other places um and maybe back to California where I'm from maybe I know my son-in-law wants to go to Disneyland and other area other things to do in in California Southern California and there is so much to do um, and I want to have nice things to wear so I've got my dresses easy things to pack and then I mean I think these pants right here I mean with, yes within where did it go 
that's not it. These pants, because they're so loose fitting and it's cool out there, um, especially in the southern part of um, California, like Orange County, because of the beaches in, in LA County, it's like, depending where you go, it's very cool. Um, so that with like a nice summer top, like this top that I'm making, would be perfect, you know? Um, so, and the shorts, yeah, all day long. So that's why I wanna make those two and I think that would look good. And I think these dresses would be good to use, um, even to host an open house and I wanna wear flat sandals, you know, in this humidity, then I can do that and not feel sticky, um, you know, when I'm dressed up. So those are the things that I wanna do and that's the reason why I wanna do them. So these fitting dresses, number one, they're good. These, I, I do definitely wanna make some more of these. I'm gonna make different ones. I have definitely have the fabric to do so. And I have not listed this on my site, um, but I think that I might. I, I haven't used it. Oh, and I'm also making, I think it's a, gra let me go grab it so you can see it. Be right back. So I made this blanket. I think this is a granny stripe, right? I think that's what it's called. Um, I made one for my son-in-law which had black, gray, all tones of grays. Um, I just made them as a comfort blanket because I know my, my blanket that my mom made me, she crocheted, I use it as a comfort blanket. Um, and so I made one for him. And then I had this, I have a bunch of yarn and I'm like, what am I gonna do with this? So I made another one. And then my, um, my husband's like, oh, that's nice, who's that for? Then I thought, you know what? It has a lot of brown in it. My mother-in-law loves brown, so here we go. We're gonna gift her one. So then he asked me if I can make one for his dad for Christmas. So I started that one. I'm doing like black, white, gray, light gray, like different colors, you know, manly colors. Um, I was gonna do blues, but if I do blue, I'll probably keep it. <laughs> so, and I actually wanna do, cause I was doing the black and the white color. I was like, each row I'm changing the color. I really love how the black and the white look, so I might do that. But yeah, so here's this one. Um, and it's pretty big, it's folded in half. And you can see, see, it's like a, you know, lap, lap blanket. Um, and then I just did this border. I did the bottom border like that and I made both sides look the same. Um, and then I just did the side border here. I just did single crochets on the side um, and then here I did that. And then when I got to this piece and I knew that I was running out of yarn, then I was like, okay, let me go ahead and do the other side just like this. And so that's what I did. And it's funny that it kind of ended up being the same look. Like, well, I guess it would because I'm going down, I'm going along the side, but yeah. So this one is going to be for my mother-in-law. Um, and then I, that's it, that's all I have. That's all I've been working on. So every day I just like for an hour or so, I, I work on it. I get about, I get about like maybe 12 rows done or more, it just depends. Sometimes I stop, but it just depends. Um, maybe if I, in, in an hour. And then uh, sometimes I go longer, it just depends, you know, again, when I start it or, if I'm in, in, if I'm not in a mood to do anything else and I just want to just sit, then I just do this and then I just watch YouTube videos or a movie or something and then I'm just doing the blanket because it's very easy to do and I don't really have to think about it. So that's that. So that's what all the things that I have been working on and I did play around with the Cricut, but I'm gonna, that's another video. Uh, so again, with my channel, if you're, if you're new, we got a lot of sewing content. We do, you know, garments, we do bags. Um, we also quilt, um, haven't done that in a while. And then crocheting as you've seen, and then I also have the Cricut, and then I'm also gonna do embroidery and business. So we're gonna talk about all of those aspects on this channel. So if that's something that you're interested in, please hit the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified each time I put a video. I'm trying to be more consistent with putting videos out 
but my schedule has been hectic and all over the place and it has, was storming here so i had no lighting um i haven't found the light that i would like to have so as soon as i do that and who cares if it's storming i'll be able to videotape um or do videos right so anyways that's what i've got going on let me know in the comments below what you have been working on what patterns are your favorite patterns to sew or if there's one that you think i may like you might want to recommend a pattern to me please drop it in that comment you know or a crochet pattern whatever it might be just drop it in the comments and let me know and i'll take a look at it i know there is another pattern that i'm looking at from friday company i think it was i don't really look at those patterns you know for some i don't really know them all to be honest with you so when i see videos and i'm like oh i like that I click on it because i know this has been out for a while and i'm just now seeing it for some reason so yeah i bought it today today i bought that pattern i was like yep buying that i want those exactly what i'm looking for something stylish something that is loose fitting something that yeah that i'm that's not going to suffocate me because i'm telling you those skinny jeans there you go that's what it is those skinny jeans <sighs> even this even if it has stretch i feel hot and suffocated in them especially with this you know being in texas if it was somewhere cooler it wouldn't feel so bad like when i wore them in france and i was freezing i was happy that they were hugging me <laughs> but anyways that's all I got going on. Let me know in the comments below what you're working on, what patterns you might want to recommend to me, um, whether it's bag, crochet, sewing. Let me know um, if you have questions about Cricut or business or whatever. Just let me know. And that way I know how to prior, um, what videos to put out. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.